In this video, we will talk about how to import and export objects in the console. Why is import and export used? Import and export functionality is utilized in scenario where you need to copy objects from one console to another and vice versa for export. For instance, if you have several masters in the environment such as dev, QA and production and you wish to transfer data like op rules, queries and reports from one master to another, the import and export functionality can be employed. Additionally, this functionality can be beneficial when building a new master server and requiring objects from old master servers. Another scenario is when encountering an ongoing issue and supports provide you with the test module to be applied through op rules. This proves handy as you simply need to import the op rule and assign it to your devices. Now let's start the demo. In this video, let's take an example for operational rules. Go to the operational rule node. Now here I have a folder called miscellaneous where it includes all the various operational rules which I have created. Now let's export these operational rules. Go to file, click on export, name it as miscellaneous and save. Now in the process, if you accidentally delete this folder or delete any one of these operational rules, you can always get it back by importing the XML file. So let's delete it for the example to show how the import will work. Click on yes. Make sure under global settings you do not have any entry in lost and found otherwise the import may not work. Go to file and click on import. Now here you can see the XML file which we saved earlier. Click on the XML file and click on open. You can click on select all objects and click on OK. Now here we have not selected any node. So you can always go to global settings, lost and found and check for the folder which we just imported. You simply have to copy this, go under operational rules and paste it. Now if you go to the miscellaneous folder, you will find all the deleted operational rules with the same old configuration which we had earlier. In this way, the import and export will work. In a similar way, if you need any assistance in creating a report and support has created the same in their lab environment, they can simply share an XML file with you and you can import it in your environment. To do so, go to File, click on Import. As you can see, I have this XML file from my another lab device. I will select this and click on Open. It asks to validate what will be imported in the console. In order to create a report, you need a query associated with it. So it will be importing both. And hence, I will click on Select All Objects and click on OK. Once the import is done, you can go to Reports. And as you can see, Global Software List has been added. If I go to the report, I can see all the columns added which was created in my other lab. Thank you for watching the video.